Hey, good morning. It's Saturday, tw January 22nd, and uh, we're going to solve the New York Times crossword puzzle. Uh, this one's constructed by Daniel Okulich, uh, which is not a name I'm familiar with. Might be a debut constructor. I'm not sure. I uh, hope you guys are had a good week and your weekend's off to a decent start. And let's see how this Saturday puzzle goes. I tried to do a live solve yesterday. I, for some reason, I, I sometimes the video just cuts out and I don't, not really sure how to resolve that. I'm not really a much of a tech guy. So anyways, uh, underlying. So like basic, maybe. That'd be right. What is this? Together. Mm. So I'm not sure if basic is right there. <laughs> Foggy, Thanksgiving and Pride both have one parade. A person who leave who lives on discarded food. So I mean I think that's like a dumpster diver, right? Dumpster diver. I don't know. I mean it would have to be. Uh, that can't can't be a rebus on a Saturday, right? I don't know. Dark magic device with which to achieve immortality in Harry Potter. Desperate Housewives co-star is Terry, no, Terry Hatcher. Uh, who else is on that show? I have no idea. Boo Boo. Bruise or Scrape, maybe? Scrape. Hmm. Well done in Italy. Vaughn. Makeup of some canopies. Coarse flower. Gentle giant on Game of Thrones. Now that's Hodor. Heartless is maybe cold. Over and done with. Philippa. <sighs> Lacto. This is Lacto Ovo, I think. But it could be ova or ova -y or, I don't know, some other suffix. Um, but it means you drink milk and eat eggs, right? Um, Bordeaux and what? So these are like states or regions or... Oh, maybe it's wines. Um, icy drink. Cognitive contortions. Like mind bending puzzles, tongue twisters. This is something comb, right? Hot comb, hot comb. Cognitive contortions. I bet it's mind something. Coffee made with a flask and a filter. Mind. Words read with feeling. Words read with feeling. Relieve is ease. Abe Lincoln. <clears throat> That's vague and broad, and the fact that it's abbreviated. I mean, that could be just like a million things, where he's from or what he did or what bills he's on. Enero o Febrero are both meses. Speed of sound is mock. Is that right? Smallish branch is a twig. Scissors palace. I need a haircut or do or die. Those are all salons, but like shops. Hmm. Hose problem is a snag, I bet. Man of the cloth is like a fryer. I mean, it's not priest, it's not minister, I don't know. Familiar soap opera device, um, fake death maybe? 
fake death scorches and i can see i've got something wrong here fated it might be meant fated meant this is how it's problems runs fated meant kind of like that so i'm going to roll with it scorches creates an unrivaled champion more details below Oof. comical character in a midsummer night's dream brought in earned secretly watch spy on home to the largest football stadium in europe it's got to be barcelona Brows are arched. And by wraps are saris together. Hmm. It's, it's like orchid, but ouchy, I guess. Ouchy. Kind of coffee is made with a flask and a filter. Let's pour over flask. Oh, huh. this is a really awful region. I mean, together, oh, this must be a due. Poor Justinian Law, like. It's like Lex, right? I mean, this is all right. Underlying. Looks good. Hmm. That could be interesting. Solvent. Like some Monty Python humor. Witty. Droll. Depression. Vanish towards attraction with multiple play areas. Hmm. Danish tourist attraction. I mean. <sighs> multiple play areas. I mean, makes me think it's a theater. <clears throat> I've also like been to Copenhagen and I went to Tivoli Gardens, which is certainly a tourist attraction with multiple play areas, but that ain't it. Something house, maybe? Something house? Hmm. Result, of a, oops, result of a compliment. Ventured. Young hombre is either an hijo or a nino, right? Hmm. Atmospheric prefix. Like a breakup gone bad is messy. Animal skin ailment. This is meal, right? Animal skin ailment. Oh, mange. Over and done with. Past. Tablets or pills. Well, this is mental gymnastics. Oh. Those are both slashes. One with a big heart. Merger of a feeling is braille. That's a good clue. One with a big heart. Chips or a snack. Right? Whose problem? Oh, not like hosiery but like a hose like a garden hose the 
Gorilla with a job to do. Gorilla with a job to do. Kind of sandwich. Hmm. Zender cards. Timothy Chalamet. Shot an air ball, missed, serenaded. Wow. So these are both wrong, I think, because serenaded must be sang to, right? Possibly sung to. Screen rating. I think that's SPF. Scissors Palace. Oh, so it's just Salon. Big heart. Oh, Valentine. Regrettably, alas. Plot twist. Creates fashions. We got here. Schlump is a loser. Schlump. C note. Brought in, reeled in. Kunta Kinte. One of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Factory is a shop. Venue for many TV reruns. Venue for many TV reruns. Hmm. Foggy addled, maybe? Person who lives on discarded food. <clears throat> I still have no idea what that is. Desperate Housewives co-star. Yikes. Well done. Oh. Molto bene. Molto bene. Molto, maybe? Solvent. Molto. Depression. It could be a dent, right? This must be house, something house. Look for compliment. Ventured, dared, young hombre. It's a nino. Person lives on discarded food. Oh, freegan. We've seen that here before, and I have complained about it before. So it's a compliment. Ego boost. Atmospheric prefix. A Lego house. Oh, Longoria. A E E R, X. Icy drink is a slushy. Abraham Lincoln. Smallish branch. Oh, like a sect, perhaps. Man of the cloth is a. Scorches, singes, an unrivaled champion, the goat. TBS, maybe? Piety? Piety. And cloth. Um, gorilla with a job to do. Kind of sandwich, ice cream sandwich. 
exercise, something test, ESP test, end of the cloth padre. He was a rep, hired goon. I was hoping that was an X, but I really have no idea what word, what letter might go here. Or even if this is where my problem is. And it's not. Terrific. Oh boy. So basic, addled, parade, freegan, like whore crux. Like, oof. could that be anything else? Like, Longoria. Ouchy, Malto Bene, afloat. Solvent afloat, yeah, okay. Trees, meal, Hodor, cold past. Sue, Philip of Sue. Barcelona, slushy. Mental gymnastics, braille, ease. Rep, mace. Ack. All look pretty good. Oh, wait, what is this? Comical character. TBS. saying to hmm, is that the comical character saying to serenade saying to bottom bottom Brian by rap sorry oh it's odd do a oh wait Underlying. Well, that's ridiculous because I knew this was Lex a long time ago and didn't think to change this from basic to basil, basil. Um, but I knew this was a due. That was kind of sloppy of me to not uh, figure that out a little better. Tough corner, though, that really just kind of put me off like Horcrux. Like, what? Come on. Um, but crossing. Italian and Latin, um, pretty tough. And then Basil as, as our 1A. So that's kind of a weird tone there at 1A, I think. Um, I thought there were some difficult names. I mean, Sue, um, I know I've heard of her, but I I don't, I mean, I've, I've never seen Hamilton. Um, and I... You know, I, I didn't know. Um, Longoria, like once I cracked it, it was like, oh, right. Yeah, that's how come Eva Longoria is a famous person. Um, but it took me a minute for sure. Um, I'm surprised this only took 1659. That's like a pretty quick solve time for a, a live Saturday solve. And um, yeah, um, while I enjoyed my pour over coffee. Um, not a ton to say about this one. I thought there was, I thought, I think mental gymnastics is a good grid spanning, you know, 15 letter crossing answer, um, especially on a Saturday with some tricky stuff. Uh, mental gymnastics is what we came here for. So um, that seems appropriate. Uh, slushy, like gross, but delicious. So yeah. Um, Hodor, another kind of a tough name. Like if you're not into Game of Thrones, but then even if you are, I don't know, might be, you might just think of him as the gentle giant. I don't know. Um, Kunta Kinte, like I think everyone's heard of Kunta Kinte, but a tough one to spell. Um, Timothy Chalamet, again, you know, he's pretty famous, pretty well known these days, but tough one to smell, to spell, pardon me. Uh, hot comb. I mean, I don't know. Blah. Um, I'm a 
man with short hair and I have never used a hot comb. Uh, overall though, I thought this was a pretty good solve. I mean, it didn't, you know, it's funny on these live solves. Like if I wasn't solving this live, I would want it to be like a lot harder. Um, but this was about right for doing a live solve because I wasn't too stressed about getting it all filled in. And um, yeah, it all came together fairly quickly. So thanks to Daniel Okolich for uh, this Saturday puzzle. Um, I've officially given up writing a daily blog. It's just too much, too much of a slog for me. Um, so I'm going to stick with these live videos. And if you guys are into it, please join me again uh, next week and the week after and so forth. Um, if you enjoyed the video, click like, if you want to see more videos like it in your feed, then subscribe to my channel and, uh, I'll send this, this terrific content straight to your inbox. Um, anyways, though, Saturday morning, I'm going to go out and, uh, get my weekend going. Uh, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye.